Jimmy Olsen is covering the opening of a new amusement park when things start getting weird. Jimmy hurriedly calls Clark Kent for help. And almost before the frantic Jimmy hangs up the phone, Superman comes streaking out of the sky. Superman is a ballistic missile. He has to rocket up to the edge of space and then come back down to cover large distances. The planes on that one ride detach themselves and start flying like actual planes. While Superman is fixing all the issues, someone is watching and loving it. Cheaper, Superman. How do those fake planes fly by themselves? I don't know, Jimmy. I'm going to try to find out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, wait till they see this one. Our little friend has been around since 1944, and his goal in life is to pull pranks and laugh at them. He was well received, readers enjoyed his silly games and the way he liked to jerk Superman around. He even made an appearance in Lois and Clark, played by Howie Mandel. <laughs> Let's see Howie Mandel do that. He's keeping Superman plenty busy. What wonderful sport! Now I'll... Uh-oh, I've been spotted. One of those statues is alive. That must be the troublemaking imp. Don't you touch me, you... You super-duper party pooper! Now look here. You spoiled my fun. Since this is his first appearance in this series, let's pretend Superman hasn't met him before. My name is Mixes Pitlick. Mix what? Mixes Pitlick. Mr. Mixes Pitlick to you. He explains that he's from the fifth dimension. Look, do us a favor and go back to your own dimension. The only way I can return to my own dimension is to say my name backwards. And I don't intend to say it until I'm through having fun here. <laughs> Even Superman realizes that this guy isn't evil. He's more like an ADD child. Cute little imp, but he's a troublemaker. How can I get him to say his name backwards? You call him a troublemaker, but one alien's trouble is another imp's fun. He says he's not out to hurt anyone, and I can believe him. I can also believe he doesn't understand how fragile we human critters are. But whether he does or not, Superman has to find a way to send him home. Let's try the dumbest idea first. Could you help me, sir? I was told to see this doctor right away, but I have something in my eye and I can't read his name. Could you read it for me, please? Of course I can. Hmm. It says, Dr. Kilt... Uh -oh. He really thought that would work. Mixes Pitalik says, tell your friend Superman to try again. Night falls and the park is getting ready for a fireworks display. So is our favorite imp. <gasps> what are you doing here? I knew you'd come here, Mr. Mixed Pickle. My name is not Mixed Pickle. It's Mixes Pitalik. It's not directly stated here, but one thing our friend can't stand is being mocked. Superman will keep digging at him in hopes of keeping him off balance enough to carry out his plan. He says, I can make you say your name backwards if you're up to a challenge. Mix Pickle says, bring it on. Superman blindfolds him. When I remove the blindfold, look up at the sky and tell me the first thing you see, okay? Sure. Why not? He uses the fireworks to spell out a word in the sky. I see. Get your balloon and me some. There, I made you say your name backwards. Now, back to the fifth dimension. Oh, no, not so fast, Mr. Super Poop. Are you trying to weasel out of your promise? But my name backwards is not. Superman says it's right there in the sky. Mrs. Pitalik says, wrong, you misspelled it. I think we all saw this coming as quick as we saw what Superman wrote. Fortunately, our imp didn't. It's supposed to read, get a mix it. Now you said it. Oh, darn it. You, you <laughs> tricked me. But I'll be back in 90 days. And I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Mix Pickle. I like him. He really is more of a bored ADD child than a true villain. Having been a bored ADD child, I can appreciate his wanting stimulation. And he really didn't hurt anybody. 
He gave a few kids some rides that they'll remember for the rest of their lives, and that was about it. Even Superman couldn't take him seriously as a genuine menace. He couldn't help laughing at some of the guy's antics. I've griped a bit lately about lack of information in these cartoons, but not today. We learned everything we needed to know to follow the story from start to finish. We know what he does, who he is, and where he's from, even though it's kind of a meaningless phrase. What's the fifth dimension? Oh right, I knew that. Hey friends, if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button and let me and YouTube know it. If you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. And remember, you can become a patron of this channel for as little as $2 a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. The planes on that one detached on that one right. Okay. I also, I can also, everything we needed to know, follow, to know,